In this demonstration, we're going to look at the new variational flange. So previously, if I try to create an advanced flange on an edge, it tells me that it's not supported on the edge of a bend. So we have a bend region here. We cannot support a flange on the edge of a bend. And the same goes for the conventional flange. Of course, that just stops on the linear edge. With variational flange and the advanced menu, we can select an edge, which is continuous, and create on bend edges, around corners, and non-coplanar edges here. So let's just uh, adjust that to a more realistic size here. We've got different length types, which I'll cover in a second. We can reverse the direction of that bend. We can define the length reference to be inside, outside, by web, and so on. And one thing to note here that if the length is increased such that the faces intersect, then of course it's going to fail here. We can't do that. So I can choose different edges here. I can choose the inside edge and reverse the direction. I can change the bend radius. And I can change the angle. So we've got full control over this variational flange. And if I just OK that, you will notice an information alert here. Um, we're going to change the actual message text, but currently variational flange faces may not flatten with unbend or flat solid, and we should use the flattening and forming capability in the modeling application. Let's look at another example as we investigate some of the other options here. So here I'm going to create a 90 degree constant radius. I can now change the length type and the angle type. If I change the length type from linear, it gives me a start and an end. And I can have a different length at the start and the end. And it will define the length of the flange linearly between the two points. And I can also change the angle type. And in this instance, I'm changing a 90 degree angle with constant angle change to 45 at the other end. So some interesting uh, possibilities there for the flange methods. Let's look at something a little bit more complex. I'm going to create a variational flange. I'm going to give this a, a two millimeter length by web length. I'm going to make it a constant and a 0.5 radius and just pick one edge. We've got a continuous tangent edge curve all the way through. And we create our variational flange right the way through the part. 